It is officially the end of award show season here at Us Weekly. I'm Christina Garibaldi, here with our very own beauty and style guru, Robin Merritt, and we are breaking down everything you need to know about last night's Academy Awards. I can't believe that we are finally at the end of award show season. It's been a long journey. <laughs> <laughs> been a long journey, but what an ending. Robin, before we get into our own picks for best, worst dress, we were able to catch up with the one and only Melissa Rivers last night, who gave us her picks for best and worst looks, so let's take a look. I think I am gonna have to go with Emma Stone. A, the necklace was spectacular. Her skin is ridiculous. Her hair and makeup was flawless, and she carried off a very couture dress without it feeling she owned it. She owned that dress. She wore it. It did not wear her. And, you know, she also is getting like award for best dress through the whole award season. You know what I mean? Like she's been the front runner the whole time. So what were those questionable looks that you had for the evening? Becky G. Wrong award show. She didn't get the memo. Um, Ariana Grande. Went for a big fashion moment, did not work. Too much of everything, too much pink, too big of sleeves. Now, what I was saying to someone also was, if it hadn't been all pink, I think I would have liked it because you gotta love the drama of a big coat in an entrance. But give me the black dress with the pink coat or the pink dress with the black coat. But we had the pink coat, the pink dress, the pink jewelry. It just got, it was just too much. Yeah, what about the men? What did you think of the men of the night? Okay, I'm gonna say this carefully. Wear a fucking tie. It's the Oscars. I know we are all so cool and can pretend that we can rock this. No, you can't. There is one man in the world who can get away with showing his chest and or not wearing a tie to an award show. And that man is Lenny Kravitz. I didn't see Lenny Kravitz. It where it, it's and it's such a pet peeve for me that it makes me, and Bradley Cooper knows better. Robert Downey Jr. I'll give a pass to because he's Robert Downey Jr. But he also knew he was gonna win. So you should wear a tie because they, I always say you can tell who thinks they're gonna win because of how they're dressed. No one's gonna take a risk on that night because the picture of you holding your Oscar is the one they run with your obituary. This one, okay? So I'm going that Bradley Cooper doesn't think he's gonna win because he didn't, I mean, it's mind numbing to me. You can take off your tie for all the parties. It is so also, and here I go on a rant, disrespectful. Like I just, oh my God. Like I just don't get it. I, where's my mom to just slap the out of all of them and say, put on your tie, you know? And like the ones I know, like Bradley Cooper knows better. You know, Ryan Gosling, I just didn't like the whole thing. Again, you have all these award shows leading up to this where you can do that. And last time I checked, none of you are Lenny Kravitz. Love Melissa, always has a lot to say, but what were your thoughts on this no tie look that the men were uh, rocking last night? So I understand the backlash, but mm -hmm. I honestly thought it was like so refreshing. Like, I feel like there were no ties, but the men accessorized their suits mm -hmm. perfectly. It was giving, it was still giving glam. It was still giving dressed up. So I didn't hate it. You what about you? It. No, I didn't hate it. I, I understand. I feel like men want to take the risks. Just like women just do. Just like women do. And I want to kind of do something a little bit more creative, have a little bit more fun than doing the standard tucks. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you are expected to win, 
that, I don't know. I guess it's how you want to be remembered. Yes. Because like Melissa says, like this is the photo that's going to be like in your obituary. Yeah. So like if you want to yeah. rock that look, rock that look, I yes. guess. So yeah. it all depends on what you're feeling. And I thought the men really did bring it. Yeah, I really thought the men showed out. Mm -hmm, so. Definitely. All right. Let's, um, well, we have to, we got some inside scoop um, from the Oscars, from our very own on the ground reporter, Travis Cronin, who attended the show last night. Travis, you are up bright and early, looking refreshed, might I add. <laughs> Thank you so much. I had <laughs> such a good time last night, Christina. So what was it like being there on the red carpet? Who left you the most starstruck? Because you got some pretty amazing videos. I think Ryan Gosling, you and Ryan Gosling made, made eye contact, which I was very jealous of. Yeah. yeah, and it's strange that I'm here now, Christina, because I am a dead ghost because of that <laughs> moment. So it's strange that I'm sitting here today. Yes, Ryan Gosling and his sister walked right by me. They made eye contact. I also love seeing Nicolas Cage, just because I feel like he's such a weird phenomena mm -hmm. of a human being. And of course, Emily Blood and John Krasinski, when they walk by, just the luxury of those outfits and how cute yes, they are. Stunning. They were matching. Mm -hmm. Right? They were like, it was their wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we were just all invited. I love how her straps didn't connect and just John looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a risk kind of doing a matchy-matchy moment. Yes, yes, but they pulled it off. They looked like just the most stylish, united front. Yes, they definitely <laughs> did. And then you were able to go inside the Oscars. So what was that experience like? What were some of the things that we did not see on TV? You know, it was it was so exciting last night. You did not see that right before the Ken performance. They said, you know, Ryan Gosling's going to be coming out. Everyone put their cell phone lights up, like get ready to know the words and sing along. So they sort of hyped up the audience for that amazing performance with him and Slash and all the other Kens. And I think that was the most exciting. They also give you a little snack bag. Jimmy Kimmel like has a little sticker that's like Jimmy's snacks for the show, and he gives you a pretzel. And I got Sour Patch Kids. They <laughs> movie moments. But I think what you don't see is there's a bar on the first level where all the celebrities are running out to and they can all have drinks and, you know, catch up out there. And Florence Pugh, who is never not at the bar, she is always, <laughs> even when I went last year, just Florence Pugh seems to run that area. But it was great to see her like doing a shot with Emma Stone and talking to Eva Longoria. But yeah, definitely host of the, uh, the party there. Definitely. I mean, the Ken moment I was just, I mean, they didn't win a lot of awards last yes. night, but they s still ended up winning the entire Oscar yes. night. I definitely they, watched that performance again this yes. morning. <laughs> they were all anyone talked about. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole Barbie cast and the Barbie movie was just really everyone, all that everyone talked about. And also what everyone talked about at the governor's ball, which everyone goes to right after it's all the stars get their Oscars engraved with their names. So they are required to show up. But that we were also surprised that Lily Gladstone didn't win. Mm. Mm. Yes, I think a lot of people were. I think Emma w Stone was just as surprised as well. Yeah. Right, but like Emma Stone's also known as like literally the nicest person in Hollywood. Everyone I've talked to says she remembers not only everyone from set, but the kids and like will write them letters for years. Like no one is more kind than her. So I think if it's got to go to someone else, that kindness really reverberated and took her all the way. Yeah, you could feel the emotion in her speech. Like mm -hmm. she was so shaken up and just felt so genuinely happy. Like she definitely deserved that. Right, sure. definitely. So what was the governor's ball like, Travis? Oh my God, the governor's ball was very luxurious this year. Wolfgang Puck turned it out on the food. There was um, DJ Kiss, who was DJing an Us Weekly party or two before, was there with her husband <laughs> um, laying the tunes, but it was just so celebratory and revelatory. It's um, in the same plaza as the Dolby Theater, so you can walk right over. It takes like 30 seconds, which is great. But they have like mini chocolate Oscars all around oh, cool. and uh, Miraval. <laughs> Brad Pitt and Angie's Miraval was the wine sponsor and debuted a new champagne. So that is very revelry, but it's just all about dancing and getting their trophies engraved and just sort of celebrating and cutting back after all of the pressure, thinking you're going to win, thinking your movie's going to win, and just a lot of people walking around with the Oscars. It must be. Was there any like weird interactions or un surprising interactions that you witnessed? The like cast of the 
Killers of the Flower Moon seemed a little sedate because I think they thought that Lily Gladstone was gonna win again. Um, it was just, it's really interesting to see The Rock out in real life talking <laughs> with anyone. Like The Rock talking with like Divine Joy was very, very interesting. <laughs> I just, I never saw them as a pairing or getting along. So it was wonderful to see them. Emma Stone, when she came with her um, Oscar was just so still, could not believe it. Like it's just adorable and just like still sort of that Taylor Swift breathless aghast. I can't even believe I'm here. That's pretty much I noticed, but it was really just like a fun, fun party atmosphere overall. All right, thank you, Travis. He looked like he had the best time ever. The best time. All right, so back to business. Let's talk fashion. Who were your best looks of the night? Okay, so I absolutely loved Haley Steinfeld. I felt I felt like her, her she wore Ellie Saab, mm -hmm. and it just felt very youthful. It felt fun. It was like whimsical. Yes. She was like gone with the wind fabulous. <laughs> I love that the hair didn't take away from the yes. look. She wore like a very sleek bun. Mm -hmm. It was really pretty. I had no notes. No notes. No notes. Um, I also really loved Gabrielle Union. Yes. She wore Carolina Herrera. Um, it was actually, a, a, she actually wore two looks two, in one. Right. So mm -hmm. the top of it was actually a mini dress that kind of flared out and she paired that with like a floor length skirt that matched. And she kind of, at the same time, revived the peplum trend. Which I love. Yeah. yeah. It was a modern take on the peplum trend and I loved that. I love that she put that look together yeah, too. She, she requested was, it. Yeah, she yeah. was the one that wanted it and she knew what was going to work well for her yeah. body and I, I thought she looked fantastic. Like you said, yes. no notes. No notes. <laughs> no notes. Also no notes for Lapita Nyong'o. Oh. She looked absolutely Beautiful. stunning in Armani Privé. Yes. I love this like icy tone that yes. a lot of the women were wearing yes. last night, like that the pale blues, ice, and uh, uh, like she looked fantastic. Yeah. Same with um, Zendaya. I mean, Zendaya, hands down. Hands down. <laughs> I mean, we don't really even have to say it. You right. always know that she's going to be the top of the yeah. list, but also in Armani Privé. Um, coming off of this Dune 2 uh, yes. press cycle where she kind of continued to bring it look after yes. look and she did it again with this dress. Yeah, I feel like corsets are really big right now and mm -hmm. I feel like Zendaya took the trend to the next level with this like exposed yes. kind of corset bodice vibe. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful and Lupita's actually was a, 20, a dress she had made in 2020 okay. and she didn't want to wear it at the time and I think she saved it for the perfect moment. Saved it, it for was, the perfect moment. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, all of these women were presenters too, and like even though that they weren't like there to accept awards, yes. I mean, they're still accepting our fashion awards. Yeah, I mean, they brought their they fashion brought game. It. Yeah, what did you think of Emma Stone? Because this was obviously a huge night for her. Yes. What did you think of her in this uh, Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton. So she is always gonna be in Louis Vuitton because she's an mm -hmm. ambassador. I thought she looked gorgeous. I was a little underwhelmed by the dress itself. Mm -hmm. Um, but it fit her very nicely, yes. except for the, the wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> but she handled that so gracefully and laughed it off mm -hmm. and made it a part of her speech. So, you know, I didn't love the dress, but I love her and I loved her in it. So. Yes. Well, she was rocking out to the Kenner. She had some yes, Kennergy. She had some big Kennergy. <laughs> she did. Well, that kind of rolls us right into our most questionable looks of the yes. night. Who got your most questionable look? Okay, I understand that Ariana Grande mm -hmm. was probably channeling or was channeling yes. her wicked character, but I just felt like the poofy pink dress was a bit overwhelming. Yes. It swallowed her. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was a lot. What did you think? I totally agree with you. That was my most questionable look of the night. It looked like it was about to swallow her whole. Yes. She's so tiny yes. and this dress is so big yes. and like you said I understand that they were kind of channeling their yes. wicked um, characters. Cynthia, Cynthia Revo was like green. green so it made sense. It but did but a lot of people were questioning that look too like yeah. green um, the, and it didn't really It, it work reminded for her. me and I love her and I think Cynthia yes. is so stylish and I think she always takes the best fashion mm -hmm. risk. I just think that dress kind of gave me like reptile yes. vibes. <laughs> totally. So yeah. I understood where they're, you know, what they were trying to right. do, but it didn't work. To me, it didn't. Yeah, it didn't but work. and you you kind of feel for Ariana because this was such a statement dress. Yes. And like clearly she wanted to have a moment yes. on the carpet. And she did. She did. Because we're talking about it. Because we're talking about <laughs> it, but maybe not the moment that she yes. wanted. Yes. And that happens. And that happens. Was there anybody else that uh you were like, I don't know about this? Okay, I think a lot of people really love Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. And I thought she looked beautiful, her hair, her glam. I just thought the polka dot 
Dior gown was boring. It was a little boring. It reminded me of something that you'd wear to like a summer wedding. Yeah. And which is and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But not for Oscars. Yeah. Especially the first time that you're returning since yes. 2018. Yes. It's been years since she's been there. Yes, she probably doesn't want to um take the Right, the, the, she was presenting. Right, she was presenting, but I mean the other presenters clearly showed up. Yes. Um so yeah, I was a little underwhelmed by yeah. this one too. But I feel like that was kind of a, like nobody really took a huge no. risk this year. No. No. Yeah, I, I I agree. I feel like it was a lot of looks where I was like, that's nice. Mm -hmm, but right. it wasn't, you yeah. know. But I feel like like you were saying, the men kind of took the risks the men, this year. Yeah. Like, Coleman. Yes, mm -hmm. like we were talking about earlier. Coleman Domingo and his Louis Vuitton suit, and he wore gold-plated cowboy boots yes. with it. Mm -hmm. David Yearman jewelry, an Omega watch. His skin was flawless. Yeah, he... Best dress. <laughs> best dress. Best dress, hand down. Hands definitely, down, yeah. definitely. All right, well, overall, did you feel like we saw any spring trends that we can kind of take away from this year's red carpet season? I think a lot of people were going for a very, like, delicate, like, there was a lot of like see-through mesh looks mm. and I think I'm gonna interpret that as like, as we go to, to spring, we're all about like light and delicate mm -hmm. and soft and sparkly. So, yeah, what I about you? I feel like these big statement necklaces mm, are back too. Yeah. Like it was all like about like the kind of the dainty oh, jewelry so right. for a while. Yeah. And now I feel like we're seeing like these big pieces again, definitely. which we haven't seen in quite some time, which is no, interesting. Definitely. Oh my gosh, you're so right. So yeah. many people had really big necklaces mm -hmm. on and a lot of, yeah, because a lot of people wear their hair up so you could focus right. on the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love yeah, that. Definitely. Love that. And what, what, what do you think about these uh, puffed uh, or these shoulder straps? Do you think that's going to kind of I work away? I feel like we're going to see that <laughs> more and more. Definitely. I don't know if I can get on board with that, but yeah. I'll leave that to Emily Blunt. Yes. <laughs> she rocked it. She rocked it. All right. Well, Robin, thank you so much. That is it for this award show season. Thanks to Melissa Rivers and Travis. And we'll see you all next year. See ya. Yeah.